Hey, a pleasant good day and evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be our Philadelphia Flyers game preview against those Vancouver Canucks, the first game preview of the season, as there is obviously some injuries for both teams. We will not have all of that new gen, new generation Flyers team, the new era of the Flyers starting tonight with all these new acquisitions, because one, Rasmus Ristolainen is out of the new acquisitions, and then, of course, a stalwart of this team now, a fan favorite in Kevin Hayes, is also out to start the season. Plus a great waiver pickup of Patrick Brown that I did a video on earlier as well in the offseason is also still in COVID-19 protocol. And Zach McEwen, who we picked up from these very Canucks, is still waiting on visa issues. But in this game, it looks like for the Canucks, they're not going to have some guys either. Brock Besser, um, it says in the status report, was that morning skate, but... Um, Travis Green said that he doesn't think he would play, so Vasily Pekolzin, after being on the fourth line in the 3-2 shootout loss to the Oilers on Wednesday, is going to now skate with the top line, it seems like, in this game. And then Risto also took part in morning skate. He's day-to-day, but he won't play. And then the other thing um, for the Flyers is uh, Thompson did not practice but will play Friday. So that is good for the Flyers. They will be able to have their fourth line center in actually today and not have another injury added on to the injuries they already have. But for the Flyers, the lines are going to shake up as Claude Giroux, Couturier, Travis Konechny as the first, Joel Fairby, Joel Fairby, Derek Broussard, the newcomer, and Cam Atkinson as the second line. Oscar Lindblom, who's going to have a great season this year. Scott Lawton and JVR is the third line. And then welcome him to the NHL, the newcomer, welcoming your first game. Max Willman, who's earned it. He's worked his butt off. Got from the ECHL, got a chance to play in the AHL because no ECHL season for the Reading Royals, who, by the way, kick off their preseason this evening last year. So he got a chance in the AHL and earned it and got that two-way contract. Now because of injuries and because of the waiver claims not being available yet, he gets a chance to play in night one. And if he impresses, who knows? Maybe he will still get a chance to stick around until these injuries of uh, the the injured players do come back. And then, of course, the starting net minder tonight, that is obvious. Obviously, we know who's going to start a net for a Philadelphia Flyers, and it is going to be Martin jo- No, I'm joking. It is going to be Carter Hart. Obviously, the great Carter Hart is going to be a net looking for a rebound season after showing some promise at the back half of last season while having a struggle bunny overall season. And I think he is. He looks motivated this year. He looks like he's completely ingrained in it. And I think he was never out of it, but he was just having an off season. Every goaltender has that in their career for the most part. Even Hall of Famers. Mark Andre Fleury has had off seasons. Hell, he won the and then he won the Vezina in his late thirties last year. So I think Carter Hart is still going to be a great goalie in this league and be one of the best in this league. Just like Jamie Bascal, or great Jamie Bascal Flyers Nitty Gritty does as well. So I think he's gonna do well tonight. Start us off well. And the only thing concerning wise I would have tonight is Rasmus Rustulainen is a very good guy to have <clears throat> to go up and use his force and use his body, use his checking ability to kind of throw off these Canucks players a little bit that are good, fast, finesse skaters that can move the puck well, like the JT Millers, Elias Pettersons, and even the young Vasily Pekolzin himself, and even also the young Matthew Heim, where they were able to bring in that's just kind of one of those depth um, role players for your team. But he's able to also skate a little bit and get under the skin of the other team like he did in Chicago. So having Risto would have helped in this game. But it's also, obviously, <clears throat> it's better to not have him against the Canucks than some other team. Like, for example, say the Pittsburgh Penguins, the arch rival, going forward in the season. So at least there's that to look at, I guess, when we look at it from that perspective. But it seems like they're going to have Thatcher, Demko, which would make sense starting for them. They're going to have Rathburn, and then on defense, Bearclaw, Quinn Hughes, Tucker Pullman, Ekman Larson, and Tyler Myers as their defensive pairing. This Canucks team is a pretty good team. They just fell to the Edmonton Oilers after being able to battle back while being down 2 nothing. so you can't take them lightly. They got good goaltending, great young goaltending, actually, in Thatcher, Demko, just like we do in Carter Hart. And they have a solid defense. So now it's all about, let's see what this Flyers defense can do, albeit not with Risto. So you're going to have Nick Sealer in there with Keith Yandel. Sanheim then with Braun, who moves up one because of Risto being out. And Provorov with the great Ryan Ellis, who I'm very excited and stoked to see how he plays. I think this defense is still going to perform, perform well, especially because of the top four. And then it'll be interesting to see, especially because they didn't have as much work together, of course, how that Sealer-Yandel line does 
because obviously he was getting his work with Risto, or not with Risto, with Braun, excuse me, and that was actually looking good. So I think that's going to be the most interesting caveat in this game. Are the Canucks going to be able to take advantage of our third defensive pairing because of the inability to kind of have chemistry with each other since they haven't had to play with each other? And Nick Sealer really had no thought of, I think, playing in this game until recently when we knew Risto was going to be out day to day. So it's going to be interesting how that third pairing shakes out. That would be my thing to look for for the game to see like how that happens, and that would be the thing that I think is the cause and effect of a win or loss, one of the causes and effects of a win or loss. The other two big causes of effects of a win or loss in this game are going to be how Travis Konechny plays rebounding from an offseason, and also how the newly acquired Cam Atkinson plus Derek Broussard play, because Broussard's going to be up in a second-line role in this game. If all those guys play well, we know what to expect from our veterans that have been around here already. I think the Flyers have a hell of a chance to win this game. And then, of course, if that third-line defense plays well, just because Seor and Yondel, they don't have the chemistry, they weren't working with each other and all like Braun and him were. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works. I think it will be a good game all in all, and it'll be a close game all in all. And I think our Flyers, as long as they come out strong and come out strong early, are going to have a chance to win this game and take advantage of one of their better players as well. Like we have Kevin Hayes out, they have Brock Besser out. So let's try to take advantage of them being a little bit weaker and be able to jump on them maybe a little bit more early because Besser is, of course, a very good 200-foot player in his own right. So I think that's a bonus, obviously, for the Flyers to have someone of his caliber out. So let's go, Flyers. Let's bring it to Broad. Let's bring that energy and win that game tonight. I think our Flyers have a great chance to win tonight. It's just all about how the new acquisition mix into the team on game one and all about how Carter Hart rebounds from last year, predicting a great season for him. But obviously, we still have to see it on the ice, predicting a great season for TK. And also Limblom, but obviously we still have to see it on the ice. And also predicting a breakout season even more so for Joel Fairby. So I think this will be a good start to the season, win or loss. But I am thinking we are going to win tonight. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe down below. If you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget, go Flyers anytime, anywhere, baby. And bring it to broad energy. Peace out, everybody.